ain't country, I ain't hip, I ain't nothing, I'm me. Hi Tyler, this is Andreas from Norway. I love your content, I love your videos. I think you're very inspiring and creative. In my eyes, you are an artist. My questions to you are, how do you make a sale? Like from your experience in the car dealership, like how do you make people to buy your product? How do you do that? And my second question is, how do you make people engage actually? How do you, how do you manage that people get involved in your stuff and ask questions and just get on board and just get into it? The first thing I would say is, I don't make anybody engage. I don't make anybody buy anything. You lead your customer. You don't direct your customer. You can't make them do anything. However, with the right tactics, you can get someone who says they're just looking. You use the art of persuasion in a non-vindictive way to agree with a customer, to get them to allow you to do your job and bring them through the sales process. Perfect example, I guess, as I'm just looking. Too many people sit there and try to hammer the customer with their wasting their time. I work on commission. Here's the reality, the simplest way to do it is to say, no problem, Mr. Customer, I completely understand you're just looking. If I was you, I would do the same thing. Look, it's obvious you're not buying anything today. What I'll make sure I do for you today is I'll make sure you get all the information necessary to make a well-informed decision whenever the time comes that you do buy a car. We'll take a walk around the lot, we'll look at a few cars. If you find any that you like, and it fits all your wants and needs. At that point, I'll give you some numbers when we get back. Whenever you are ready, you have all of that information to make a well-informed decision. And then guess what? What they just did is you agreed with them, so they allowed you to do your job that they wouldn't have if you would have kept trying to sell. They allowed you to pick out a product, demonstrate a product, present numbers. And because of that understanding, you now have the opportunity to close. In terms of engagement, just give your audience what they want. What brings them value? Give them more value than you ask for in exchange, and you have an opportunity to win. I was referring to automotive sales, but look at it as an analogy. Because the reality is, sales is sales, sales is sales, sales is sales. Engagement is sales. And then it all boils down to psychology. It's all the same shit, guys. Simplify it, don't overthink it.